we're getting on these tiny little prop planes. There's like, I don't know, one seat either side, maybe six of us. I have no idea we're getting on this. Good morning, it is 5 a.m. Welcome back to Nicaragua. I'm in Managua right now at the airport and about to fly to Little Corn Islands. This is a place that's not very well visited, I think. I don't really know anyone that's been there. And also we're in pandemic times, so I think it's gonna be completely empty. It's right on the eastern coast of Nicaragua in the Caribbean. We're gonna go see what it's like. We're waiting to board now. It's a tiny little domestic terminal and we just came through and don't have any boarding pass or seat number or anything. So I don't actually know how this is gonna work. That's funny, we all got our names read out <laughs> to board and be able to get through. Never had that before. And now we're getting on these tiny little prop planes. There's like, I don't know, one seat either side, maybe six of us. I have no idea we're getting on this. off in a place called Blue Fields and I think we're dropping some people off here, maybe picking some up and then flying on to Big Corn Island. It's really cool, I had no idea that we were flying in something like this, but we have to now wait and then other people will get on. Touchdown, we made it. Uh, this is Big Corn Island. We now need to try and get a ferry over to Little Corn Island. Again, totally unexpected, but very cool. Oh. Uh, we got a taxi, got our bags strapped in the back and ready to go. Well, that was a great first experience. Uh, we just got to the taxi driver outside the airport and you know like sometimes I feel like at airports then it can be a bit dodgy with taxi drivers giving you wrong information but he was so nice, so cool, a dollar each to get down to the beach and he also told us that there's only one ferry running right now in the afternoon at 4pm. There usually is two because of the pandemic then there's only one and that I also heard from other people as well. But for one dollar each he's also going to come and pick us up later and take us back to the ferry port for when that leaves. But for right now, we can just enjoy the beach all day here. And look at this! <laughs> you also had a really cool Caribbean accent, which is completely different to the rest of Nicaraguans that I've met so far. Oh, nice and basic. I love it. Breakfast done couple of coffees in. It's 9am so it's time for a swim. I love that so far as well. I don't know like, you know, I, I don't know how busy it would be normally but right now we have the whole beach to ourselves. Huh. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I, think so. I don't know, I can't tell. It doesn't look like it's breathing. I know, we don't want to touch it do we? No. <laughs> we haven't found many fish so far, yeah, it's but we did find a spurnerfice bottle and a corona bottle, so we're taking them back to shore. Uh, I think there are plenty of fish here, it's just none yet. She's like... Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> okay, we found the fish. <laughs> a little bit of like a shipwreck at the end of the beach here. And obviously that's where the fish are. <laughs> Okay, well, apparently that area is forbidden. So if you come here, don't do that. But we've been here not even two hours. We already had policemen come up to us and tell us off. But really cool though. Besides that, loads and loads of fish. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna get chill on the beach. Welcome to Bitcoin Island. <laughs> yeah, so this boat goes out to that floating bar right there, which is called Bitcoin Island, a play on Big Corn Island. But I'm really like, I, I want to find out why did the guy sell a Bitcoin and create a bar? Like, does it accept Bitcoin? I don't know, but I need to find out. So once that opens, we're going to swim over to the floating bar to Bitcoin Island. Nothing to do. Hey, buddy. Well, I was going to say nothing to do because I have a beach beer and a beach dog, but he's left me. Por favor, aquí. Por favor. Never work with animals. Claire's a water baby, so she, she, she's here. I think she's seen a fish or something. Yeah, I think so. We are finished up here. We've been spent a few hours pretty easily, to be honest. Our taxi man, just over here, has shown up perfectly on time. So now we're gonna go jump in the taxi, head to the port, and hopefully head to Little Corn Island. Hello, hello. Hi. <laughs> Good, yeah, it was nice. Oh. Enjoy yourself. Yeah, thank you, mate. Oh, thanks. Come for us here from Bluefields, then the passenger will come from there for Little Island, go out, uh -huh. goes on the Panga. Ah, okay. So you have to be there before that, get there, or not to get full up, and then you know. Yeah, Perfect, yeah before yeah. the rush. No, we got to reach it before that, yeah. <laughs> not far from here, right? yeah. No one rushes. Awesome, thanks, man. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome, man. Is there many tourists now? Not so much? Mm. No, the most of the tourists them coming is from the capital part, Nicaragua, you know, uh -huh. Nicaragua tourists, but they um, not much run out. More the weekend, do you think? Huh? At the weekend, more on Saturday and yeah, Sunday? Yeah, more on Sunday and Saturday, yeah. most of them does come here. Yeah, yeah, okay. Does be full up. Uh, uh, nice. They high up here uh, now. Exactly. In another half an hour, that's going to be there. Yeah, that guy's so cool, so chill. And now we're at the right place, the boat should be coming here. He came to pick us up a little bit early because he saw the boat coming from Bluefields, which is mainland Nicaragua. So he was like, oh, I'll come grab you before they get here. So therefore you can get the on the boat before they do, just in case it runs out of space, which is cool. And now we're in the proper ticket office to head over to Little Corn Island. So something I just realized is that it's a La Region Autonoma, so it's an autonomous region of Nicaragua. Okay, so this is the boat coming in, which is why we needed to be here before them. It's busy. Yeah, that guy did us a real favor. We just got our tickets, we're ready to get on. So I think like half of those people are probably gonna try and get on this little boat. And then these are our tickets. It's good marketing to be fair. <laughs> why not, right? Which also happens to be where we're staying. Okay, now that we have our ticket, 
it actually all just slowed down again. It was very much hurry up and wait because now that we've got it, it doesn't leave for an hour and a quarter. So we're gonna chill and get a beer, pretty much is what everyone else did. Rushed to get their ticket and now we wait for it to leave. Oh, John, oh, John. Oh, there's fish. <laughs> the ones that like follow the sharks around, like the big, like the massive ones with like the sucker things on. We have a bit of an aquarium. Okay, here we go. My goodness, go! Ooh. All right, and we're off. Palmeiras. Palmeiras, okay. Yeah. That's nice. Okay. Thank you. He's here somewhere. Thank you, brother. Yeah, ready? And we are finally here. Welcome to Little Corn Island. Like anywhere in a port, there's a little bit of a hustle and bustle when we first get here. But this is a place, by the way, with no cars and no vehicles at all, I think. So the taxi system when you get off the boat was a wheelbarrow. <laughs> Everyone trying to get you to put your bags in the wheelbarrow. But the place we're staying is about a five minute walk. So, on the lay. Okay, and here we are. And we're here. We've just checked in, we've arrived, and I'm gonna finish the video there. I wanna say that it's not what I expected um, at all, but to find out why, you're gonna have to watch the next video. We're here for five nights, so I'm definitely making a video about Little Corn Island. This was kind of meant to be that, but now actually the journey here was really cool. So <laughs> I'm gonna make another video, uh, check back for that. For now, thank you for watching and see you in the next video.